Uh, Welcome to the Punch is about uh, James McAvoy's character who plays a detective called Max Lewinsky. And he, for the last sort of, seven years, has been hunting down a mastermind criminal called Jacob Sternwood, who's played by Mark Strong, who is now living in Iceland for the last three years, who then returns to London and it gives Max one last chance to capture the man that he's always been after. And the more the story unravels, they realise that there's a lot more going on than meets the eye, that initially than meets the eye, and that um, there's kind of greater forces of, of conspiracy at play. And that's kind of the basic premise of the film, and it, and, it, and it goes off from there, and kind of goes on a mad ballet of bullets. <laughs> We hadn't been able to get anywhere near Stonewood for years. So when you take him down this time, you take him down hard. He's created a legend for himself. The only lasting thing about Jacob Stonewood would be his prison sentence. We were sort of in the process of making the movie and um, with sort of six months down the line and we realised that we were just the guys that made Shifty, you know, even though I had been nominated for a BAFTA, that I was never going to kind of, it was, it was becoming increasingly harder for me to get my, the, the script in front of the people I needed to see it. And we heard that Scott Free in London were looking to make sort of London-centric action-based movies over here the way they do in, with Europa Corps in France and the Luc Besson style movies. And so we sent the script and a copy of my first film, Shifty, to Liza Marshall, who then sent it to Ridley Scott, who was at, in Los Angeles at the time. He really responded to Shifty and the script, the screenplay. And then I flew out and met him. And um, he came on board as executive producer and basically helped us get the film made. And, um, you know, along with Liza Marshall and the producers, Ben Pugh and Rory Aitken, kind of they, they went, in, went through the process of attaching the, you know, a great cast and helping me get the cast that I wanted to to justify the budget I needed to make that sort of action orientated movie in London. Last night a man was picked up suffering from a gunshot wound to the stomach. He's Jacob Sternwood's son. If he thinks he can walk his son out, he's going to check the angles. Sternwood! When I made Shifty, I'd never worked with actors before, so you, you're just as nervous when you step onto a set of working with actors like Riz Ahmed or Danny Mays because you know Riz Ahmed had just worked with Michael Winterbottom, Danny Mays had just worked with um, Mike Lee when we made Shifty. So you're just as nervous, so you go into those films like prepared as, as prepared as you can be. For me, because I come from a background of music videos and commercials, it was all about preparation, preparation, preparation. Um, and so making my second film was um, a homage to the films that I grew up loving. So Hong Kong action cinema, such as Hard Boiled, Infernal Affairs, The Killer, City of Fire by Ringo Lam, and then also American cinema such as Bullet, um, Three Days of the Condor, The Parallax View, The French Connection, Heat, do you know what I mean? So it's kind of this mixture of influences and I use those all as a springboard in order to write my next screenplay. And, um, and, and hopefully we could set that in London and, and, and tell that kind of story. Well, I was, I was just chatting about this to somebody and I was like, why have Ridley Scott and Tony Scott, why did they never make an English-based action film? And I think it's because they didn't grow up in the same London that I've grown up in. You know, I live in Canary Wharf, I live around that city. You know, I, to them, the appeal was always probably cities kind of, you know, in, in New York or Los Angeles. And whereas I've grown up in, you know, London and the Olympics was coming, it's one of the sexiest cities in the world. But then also there's a, gen not only that, of, of a kind of, is there a sort of a, a much more um, amazing canvas that exists in which you can tell your story, is that there's a generation of filmmakers that grew up on films like Harbold and Lethal Weapon, and there's Gareth Evans who shot The Raid, you know, who's from Wales, and his, and his favourite film is Hardboiled. And I think there's a, there's, a, there's a generation of filmmakers from here who, who kind of, we, we were sort of movie geeks and sat in, you know, watching VHSs and re-watching it. You know, I know I did watch Evil Dead 2 over and over again, watch Hardboiled, watch the hospital sequence over and over again, would take it to my friends and say, you've got to watch this, it's amazing. You know, and we, and we grew up with a, you know, whereas maybe sort of a generation before or maybe even five or ten years before, they kind of don't have those same influences that we do. So I think maybe that's a big part of it. We'll end this tonight. And when it's over, you'll go to prison. It's great. I mean, it's like, it's, um, I was just saying that my, one of my granddads is Scottish. The other granddad was Sri Lankan. Both my nans are English. So, and they both had a penchant, penchant for scotch. <laughs> so kind of, I'm ruined either way, but I've kind of, you know, I've, I've got Scottish roots and I've got Sri Lankan roots. That's kind of where the creevy comes from and where Iran comes from. So it's good to come to Scotland and I've I haven't spent enough time up here. But it's great to be in Glasgow, man. Maybe I can get back in touch with my Scottish roots.